بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح لله ما في السماوات والارض وهو العزيز الحكيم له ملك السماوات والارض يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير هو اول والاخر والظاهر والباطن وهو بكل شيء عليم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد مصطفى محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم اما بعد اي لحبت في الله امام بن فوزان حفظ الله تعالى منشن after mentioning the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in and the tabi'in wa tabi'a tabi'in he said therefore they are an example for this nation and their methodology is what this nation should adhere to in terms of belief dealings character and in all affairs their methodology is taken from the book of allah and the sunnah because they were close to the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the time of revelation they took directly from the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and thus they are the best of generations and their methodology is the best methodology it is for this reason that the muslims are diligent in learning their methodology so that they can adhere to it and because it is not possible to tread their path except after having knowledge knowing the path itself learning it and acting upon it that's the madhab of the salaf ahabbat fi llah and that's what we're ordered to follow as the nusus direct us to do then the imam, uh, the imam sheikh salim bin fozan hafiz allah ta'ala he said the importance of following the methodology of the salaf upon knowledge so the first point he mentions is the importance of following the madhab of the salaf upon knowledge mentioning that knowledge is ilm as imam uh, bukhari mentioned in his chapter entitled al ilm qabla al quli wal amal knowledge precedes statements and actions so how is it you can practice something if you don't have knowledge of it how is it that you can believe in the madhab of the salaf truly and not have knowledge of it that's why we have to have ilm we have to have some form of knowledge of what we believe and many of us we started out on taqlid we started off blind following because of a group of brothers or a group of sisters or or whoever that directed us uh to hopefully the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but as we grow in our faith as we grow in our deen we need to know as when we analyzed and we went over al usul thalatha as one of the main points when imam muhammad ibn abdul wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala he said al ilm he mentioned what knowledge is he said al ilm huwa ma'rifat allah wa ma'rifat an nabi wa ma'rifat deen al islam bi adilla he said knowledge is knowing Allah and is knowing his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and knowing the religion of Islam with the textual proofs so this is why if we adhere and associate ourselves with the madhab and manhaj of the salaf of this ummah the salaf as salih radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in then we have to do that based upon knowledge it's not just uh, uh declaring ourselves uh, a blind de- de- uh, declaration or just adhering and and hoping to be from amongst a group of brothers or sisters but in fact it is tatbiq it is practicing that madhab it is practicing that understanding and it is understanding that understanding and that only comes from ilm allah the sublime and high said wa sabaquna al awwalun min al muhajirin wal ansar wal ladina tabi'uhum bi ihsan and the first to embrace islam from the muhajirun those who migrated from mecca to al madina and the ansar the citizens of al madina who helped and gave aid to the muhajirun and also those who followed them exactly in faith meaning that these are those who will be successful those who of the, of the righteous the salihin or the salihun those people who traverse the path of the muhajirun wal ansar meaning those who migrated uh from Mecca to Medina and Ahl Medina who who accepted them meaning the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in then the sheikh said meaning they followed them with perfection it is not possible to follow them in a perfect manner except after learning their methodology and what they were upon as for merely ascribing to the salaf and salafia without knowledge of this methodology then it has no basis allahu akbar 
In fact, it can possibly bring about harm, and thus it is mandatory that one has knowledge of the way of the Salaf as We have to have ilm. Brothers and sisters, I can't emphasize this as enough, that you have to have knowledge of your religion, to know what you follow, to know what you believe. It isn't sufficient just to follow someone, and it's surely not sufficient to just make a, uh, an empty claim. As the ulama uh, of fiqh, they mention the principle that <clears throat> the principle that of of which means that a substance that it's not in a name but it's in the substance or the reality of the claimant of the claim meaning for uh that the proof of something is in its substance or its reality, not in its name. So, for example, someone who claims that they're Salafi, but they don't follow the madhab of the Salaf. They are takfiri in their madhab or uh, in aspects of their creed or their minhads. They declare other Muslims to be disbelievers without the right to do so, without the knowledge to do so, without the conditions for it, without the mu'ana, those things which prohibit making takfir, then... That is surely not someone from Ahl Sunnah. That is surely not someone from the Salaf, following the Minhaj of the Salaf as who can ascribe themselves to the Salaf, even if they have other aspects in their creed which is in agreement with the Salaf. And this is why we completely reject all these categorizations that we have people like Yasser Qadi who makes. But Yasser Qadi is not the first. Really, these come from non-Muslims, these classifications. They say Salafiyya Jihadi, Salafi, Salafi Takfiri, Salafi... Uh, hijri, Salafi this, Salafi that. But no, Ahl Sunnah rejects all of that. We say Salafi. Salafi on the madhab of the Salaf as Meaning that if you depart in the issues of jihad, if you depart in un your understanding of takfir, if you depart from the madhab and the minhads of the Salaf as in other aspects of your creed and your minhaj and your da'wah, then we say, no, this is not Salafiyyah. This is not a representation of someone who is following the madhab of the Salaf or who can rightly claim and call themselves Salafi or what have you. Because it's not in the name. Whether you call yourself Salafi or not, it's about what you practice. It's about what you preach. It's about your minhaj, your methodology for understanding Islam, for calling to Allah, and your form of da'wah. Hal huwa, wafiq, is it in agreement with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And we hope that the answer is yes, and may Allah bless us to be on the midhab of the Salaf. The Imam then said, Consequently, this nation constantly studied and taught the way of the Salaf as as they passed it on generation after generation. This methodology was taught in the Masajid, in schools, in institutes, colleges, and in universities. This is the way of the Salaf as and this is the way to learn about it. We learn the pure way of the Salaf, which is taken from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam informed that many differences would occur in this nation when he said, the Jews broke into 72, 71 sects. The Christians divided into 72 sects. My nation would divide into 73 sects. All of them will be in the fire except one. Upon hearing this, the companions asked, which group will not enter the fire, Ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, those who are upon what I am, and my companions are upon today. This is the methodology of the Salaf Salih. It is that which the Prophet وسلم, and his companions were upon, and those who followed them with good. The present situation mandates, uh, mandates that one knows the way of the Salaf Asari in order to adhere to it because it is the path of salvation. All of the other groups will be in the hellfire except one. This is the safe sect. And they are Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Only one group will be saved, which is the group that once the people became divided, the paths became become numerous, the groups and ways multiply. This is the group that will be upon the way of the Salaf, meaning those who adhere to the Salaf Asali, the Minhaj, the methodology of the Salaf, the way the Salaf understood the deen, the creed, their actions, their manners, their uh, methodology. Then that is the those are the characteristics of the same sect. 
And then the sheikh said, this warrants that the person holds tight to it and is patient upon it until he meets the Lord of, his, uh, of this religion, the sublime and the most high. And something very important with regards to that is that we, it isn't again in a name that we can't claim piety for ourselves. That you can't claim, even if you're trying to follow the madhab and the salaf, that doesn't mean you're pure. We don't know what sins you are, sins you have. And you don't know, you're not guaranteed jinnah. You don't know where your in destination is, but you talk a lot of law, rely on Allah, seek forgiveness from Allah.